Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel Pokepidge and welcome back to part 3 of my Let's Go run through. Uh, in part 2 we defeated Brock and we're about to head towards Mount Moon. So without further skidoo, let's get over there. Ooh, who's this? Oh, listen to the music. It's the rival from Red and Blue. It's Blue, or Gary, as some people want to call him. Her my grants are two new kids who are sent out from Pallet Town, confirming that this takes place in the same universe as Red and Blue, and uh, we do everything after. Brilliant. I was thinking you might want someone to go to the gym, but it looks like I've beat. Yep, I don't need any advice from you. But I've got five great balls. In this, Gary, if you want to call him that, he isn't actually a jerk. He's grown up and he's mature, he's a young adult, and he's a Pokemon researcher and Pokemon master, I suppose. Will you later, newbie? See, still does all of that. It's pretty cool. I quite like it. Anyway, can't remember who we've got in the party now. I've got Brussels and Eevee, and then a few people we're not using. So, yeah, let's keep Brussels at the front, actually. Yeah, train up Brussels a bit. Because I love the way it. Right, look at that. Actually, let's go over to this slowpoke and this lady. Supposed to do a slowpoke. Do you think you could do me a favour? Yeah? What's the favour? You want to go to the museum, but slowpoke doesn't want to go. I'll look after slowpoke. I'll keep an eye on it. Don't know if it's a boy or girl, so I'll say it. This is the bit where it looks like I'm looking straight up its bum in a minute. <laughs> Wait for it. Look at that. You spent a relaxing time with slowpoke looking up its butt. Anyway, <laughs> let's crack on with that one, shall we? No pun intended. Unfully intended. Got a big pearl from the lady. Thanks, lady. Right then. Let's get on with our adventure. Obviously, go to the Pokemon Center and heal up first. Let's do that. Pokemon Center. Right then. This is the boring bit now, isn't it? We just have to heal up. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Gonna try and evolve that Pidgey, the two Nidorans, and the Bulbasaur. We'll try our best to evolve those for all the experience we get. You hope to see me again? Why? Do you hope my Pokemon suffer pain and have to come back to you? That's really horrible. To the Pokemart, Bellsprout. You know where I'm going. Let's get some potions and Pokeballs. Or at least some potions. I think I've got about 50 Pokeballs. How many Pokeballs have I got? Yeah, 50. Bang on 50. Fair enough. Potions. I've got 11. Antidotes, 4. Paralyze Heal, 3. Ah, we'll be alright then, won't we? We'll be fine. Let's carry on. To the next route. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. Let's go and battle some trainers. Come on, Bellsprout. I love the way it runs in this game. They've really nailed it. Such a happy Bellsprout. Right then. Let me battle you. You looked amazing, didn't you? Well, I had to, because when a trainer's lock eyes, they meet for battle. Well, that's Janice. Janice? Janice, Janice. Janice. Oddish versus Bellsprout. This is interesting. Go on, Brussels. Brussels Sprout. Fight. That's it, actually, because that's going to do neutral damage against a grass poison type. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> You're gonna lose and I'm gonna win. Right then. If I remember rightly, another Pokemon selected for my team by that British guy is Gyarados. So, I'm going to have to buy the Magikarp from the salesman. He also wants me to have a Charmander, which I can get already. Eevee wants to learn Sand Attack. What have you got? We'll get rid of Tail Whip. Sand Attack's alright. Reduces their accuracy, it will do. But of course, if Sand Attack is used on you, your accuracy becomes minus 647 million, as we all know from playing the games on a regular basis. Right then. What we got down here? A ball. What's in there? 
three Pokeballs. Great. Yeah, cheers. Really, really great. Really wanted them. Actually, if Brussels went up a level... Oh, no, it was Eevee that went up a level, wasn't it? And, and Brussels. Oh, okay. Oh, they're fine. This is a coach trainer. Oh, you're going to... Okay, it's going to tell you now. <laughs> I'm spoiling it for you. Sorry, guys. Basically, when I beat all the people in this route, I can go back and battle that guy. Pretty sure I could beat him now, anyway. I've been doing this for years. Stop turning around. Right then. Your shorts are cool. Stop staring at them. That's what Youngster Joey used to say. But this isn't Youngster Joey. It's Youngster Calvin. Imposter. Actual imposter. Spearow versus my Bellsprout. That's not going to end well. Brussels, you've got a type disadvantage now. Let's give it a go anyway. Straight in with the acid. Christ! Okay, there you go. Type disadvantage completely overridden. I beat Youngster Calvin. Lost, lost, lost. Yep, yep, yep. Ha ha ha. Next. Who's next? Anyone else? You? What have you got? You want to battle with a Pokemon you just caught? You just caught a Pokemon here. What is it? What have you just caught? Camper Victor. Who calls their child Victor? Nidoran. Oh, okay, so my Vine Whip and Acid aren't going to be very good against Nidoran. Let's go for Rap then on my Brussels. Rap. Rap a dap dap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poison Sting, neutral damage, but I can't be poisoned. Because I am a poison type, partly. Not me myself. I'd be a. Uh, no, I'll be normal type, let's, let's be honest. Rap! One more move and we're in. Critical hit, actually. Nice. My Brussels is pretty strong, actually. I quite like it. Let's go for Vine Whip just to finish it off. Might as well. Making sure the recording's all good. And it is. You can still see the game. Right, here we go, Camper Victor defeated, done like dinner. Well, unless you have a cold dinner straight out of the fridge, and then it's not going to be cooked and done. Cool. Next, who are you? Eek, did you push me? Literally didn't even touch you. I think you're just trying to win some money out of me. Picnicker Robin. Sent out leader and female. Right, well. Well, well, well. I think these two picnickers should hook, should, uh, hook up. Right, let's just see what a not very effective move would do. Oh, let's just stick with that. That would do. Tail whip? You haven't even got a tail. I don't think. Do it again. Do tail whip again. Scratch. Oh, we'll never find out. Doesn't matter. That's it again, and I think that's it. Maybe, might be like one HP left. Yeah, tail whip. Let's have a look. It hasn't even got a tail, it's got two little horns on its back. It's like a spiky spine. That ain't a tail. I think we're telling tails. Lovely. It's not very effective. It's a matter. Like one. Those are two experience points. Doesn't overly matter because that's not much. <laughs> but hey, right then. You got two great balls. Oh, have I? Bloody hell. Thanks, lady. Didn't know my flies were undone. Um, right. There should be new Pokemon in here, actually. At least one new Pokemon. Is that it? Right. Let's try and catch this evidence. Now. Excellent throw, thank you very much. Been doing it all my life. Come on. Yes. First throw. Give me some experience points. 58 now. Nidorans are only a few level a few levels away from uh, evolving. And I know where I can get myself some Mount, uh, some moonstones in Mount Moon, so that'd be good. Right. Lure. I've got a lure. Right, 
let's um you're a trainer, let's battle you. Oh no, shorts are comfy and easy to wear. Youngster Joey, that's what youngster Joey used to say. And this is youngster Ben. So I forgot to say, where's youngster Joey? The original, the OG. Ratata. Yeah, that's what youngster Joey used to have. Oh man. You've ruined everything. Right, fine way. Don't care if you got quick attack. I'm stronger than you in many, many ways. See? Easy. Way too easy. Way, way, way too easy. Bulbasaur's level 10. Hey, praise the Lord. I meet youngster, what should be Joey. Three Pokeballs. Literally couldn't care less. Right. Who? What have you got? I'll catch a Greg. One Pokemon, and it is Kakuna. Okay. Okay. Oh, Brussels. Brussels Sprout. Let's wrap you before you use a Harden. So that we get maximum physical damage in. Oh, you can use Poison Sting anyway. Boring! Boring! I'm just going to go straight to Acid. It's not going to be very effective, but... Might actually do a fair bit. Yeah, lovely. Sweet. Should have just done that in the first place. I'll catch you, Greg. You're not very good at battling. No, stupid mouth. Anyway, on to the next. Oh, what have you found, Bell Sprout? Oh, sorry, Brussels. Found something in the plants. A raspberry. All right, whatever. Yeah, fine. Right. Oh, item. Wait. Found a revive. Nice. Oh, a size bonus Ekans, and the last thing I caught was an Ekans. So let's try and get some experience points on this. Let's use a Raspberry. See if I can get that ring down to a green colour. I can, good. Right. Now, you've used, there you go, you've used a little animation. Throw it. Excellent throw. Try and get on the first catch, please. Yes! I should get some good experience points from this. I'm hoping over 100. 103, just about, yeah, okay. I'll take it though, it's leveled up Pidgey. Although, I'm gonna probably replace Pidgey in a moment. Pidgey wants to learn Quick Attack. Oh, I couldn't care less, I'm not gonna use you anyway. Catch a combo of two! God, I'm so good at this! Oh, go away! Stupid Rattata, I'm trying to get on with the game. You're not a trainer, are you? No. Are you a trainer? No? Okay. Are you a trainer? No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go get that magic art from in here while my bell sprout runs for eternity. <laughs> anyway, right. Let's go into here. Heal up again. So thrilling healing up. Brussels, Eevee, Pigeon, Leader and Man, Leader and Fema, Bulbasaur. Healed. But I'm going to replace Pidgey now with a different Pokemon. Something from this guy? No, not that guy. That? Ah, uh, okay. There's no one on this side, so it's got to be that creepy looking guy over here. Secret Magic Arp for just 500 Poke Yen. Yeah, alright. Not actually that much compared to I've got 4,500. You've been outrageous 500 Poke in and bought the Magic Arm. It's not that much money, really, let's be honest. In comparison to what you use, that's like three battles, and I've already won myself a Magic Arm. That's pretty good. Right, Pokemon Box, where is that Magic Arm? Because he's going straight in my party. Instead of Pidgey. There we go. Let's train it up. Let's go battle those couple of coach trainers, though. Coach trainer at your service. Do you want to train a bit before? Yep, I'm ready. Bring it on, coach trainer. Bring it on. Oberon. 
Jesus. A grand name for you, isn't it? Meow. Ah. Oh. I know what's going to happen. I know what happens. I know what this guy gives you. You're only one level under me as well. I'm going to go for Acid. Payday. Coins scattered everywhere? Yeah, coins were scattered everywhere. Acid. Try and poison them as you can. Come on. Give me up. Use payday again, that's fine by me. Not a problem in the slightest. Still not poison though, never mind. If I can poison it on this move, the poison will take it over. That's it. Nope, still not poison. Right then. I've obviously won this. Acid again. Boom. Meowth is down. Sorry, mate. 74 experience points, is that it? I've got more than that for just catching a neckins. Tim for payday. <laughs> right, let's quickly. I know I'm right by a Pokemon Center, but I'm lazy, so let's just quickly do that and then go take on that other coach trainer from um, from this route here. Route 3, that's it. Oh, I'm not going to catch any more records. Let's keep going. going. <laughs> we'll get there in a minute, guys. Take on the next coach trainer. Oh, item. Potion. That's alright, makes up for the one I just used. Next, hop, and then up here. Cool. Yep, I would love to battle you, get some uh, experience down. I can't walk past trainers and not battle them. Gotta be honest. Coach trainer Kareem. Kareem. <laughs> right. Brussels, go on, I know you can do it. Level 13? Oh, level 11. Easy. Acid again. I'm quicker. Good. Neutral damage. Three of those. And, oh, okay. That was a critical hit. Maybe not three of those. That was a critical hit as well. Everything's a critical hit today. Brussels. That's it. There we go. Bulbasaur. Oh, used to tackle. Brussels is going to use another acid and hope that it's a critical hit. You never know. Special defense did get lowered, good. Tackle. Now yeah, whatever. Acid. Acid to death. Boom. I won again. 70 experience points. Gone up a level. In life. Level 15. Strong Brussels. I'm gonna need you for the next gym, Mr. Brussels. Bulbasaur, which level 11? I've got my own level 11 Bulbasaur now, mate. I've got 1,100 for winning. I've got two Magic Cups for winning. I've got a Revive. Is that it? Boring. It wasn't even worth battling yet. Right. Nope, it's not the one I wanted. Where are we? Medicine. Let's heal up Brussels. Let's... Swap EV with Brussels. And now let's go. Yeah, let's keep Brussels out. I love the way it walks. It's awesome. It's going to be a shame when it evolves into Weeping Bell, but that's just how things go. All the way over to Mount Moon now. Right. Who's that sleeping on top? It's me out sleeping on top of them. Oh well. <laughs> right. Who's this? Team Rocket. Hello. <laughs> me off, you won't keep it. Watch you were snoozing. You're looking for fossils, are you? You do get a fossil in here. Hello, 
Paris. I need a Paris, actually. I found a potion. Nice. I also found a Paris, which I need. And I've never seen it. Okay. Get your Pokeball through the moving ring and you can get a bonus for a great technique. I, I know this. Why are you telling me now? Wait till you do an animation, not a jump in. The one where it stops the ring, because then you get a full cycle to catch, if that makes any sense. Just wait. Right, you've done it now. So, I've got a moment here where you're not moving, so I can just do that and get an excellent throw. Top tip. It really helps when you're chain catching, that does. Right then, let's try and use a raspberry. I say try and use, I can use a raspberry. Right, cool, you did an animation. Throw, thank you very much. Perfect! You caught a Paris. Damn right I did. Just need my magic art to start levelling up a bit, I think. Might get the Nidorans to evolve in this cave. It's a Nidorino and Nidorino. And if I can find Moonstones, which I'm pretty sure I can. Zubat, oh, and so it begins. So the mountains of Zubat begin. Right, this is annoying. Can you stop what you're doing? That's it. Let's see if I catch it. Because I'm only going to catch one Zubat, I'm not prattling about with loads. Yep, that's fine. I'm not catching any more Zubat. Don't want any more Zubat, that's all I'm doing. 49 experience, that's fine. It's enough to level up Magikarp and Eevee, actually. Not messing around with any more. Right. Yeah, good. Registered to the Pokedex, that's great. Right then. Let's take on this guy here. Battles everywhere. Hopefully we'll get to the end of Mount the end of Mount Moon in this episode, but I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> Butterfree, oh you might have a flying type move. Oh that's why we switched to Eevee, didn't we? Hmm. Do I risk sending out Magic Art for a bit of experience here actually? I'm gonna try it and if it faints, I'll use that revival we'll earlier. Right, let's see. Yeah, good, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Absolutely happy with that. So now, Eevee, you go. Confusion, that's fine. Unless I actually do get confused. Nope, good. Right, so, Eevee. Tackle. Thanks. Yes, out in one. Easy. Easy Eevee. 124 experience points. Magic up 103. Perfect. Easy. Right, what's this item? Antidote? Five great balls. I'll take that. Right, so we've got Paris and a Zubat. So, what we need now is Clefairy and Geodude. See James from Team Rocket in that corner there? I don't know if I'm covering it though. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. You can see both of it. Sneaking on my Master Trainer series. Last Evelyn. Oh, that's my niece's name. Well, you've got a Bell Sprout. Well, I'm using it for this one. So tough. Wait. Tackle. Two. One move. Okay. Straight out. Oh. We got a TM of Headbutt from um, Brock, didn't we? Yeah, let's teach let's teach some Pokemon Headbutt. Do, 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 do. TM case. Headbutt. On to Eevee. Instead of... Instead of Tackle, because they're just the same physical, normal move, except Headbutt's much stronger. Far stronger. And also, Brussels can learn Headbutt as well if it wants to. Instead of rap, rap's just pointless. And has a chance to miss. Right. Payday can be learned by Eevee. But 
It's power 40, it's really not. I I'm not that popular about getting an extra like 50 pokey dollars. Pokey yen, pokey pounds, whatever you want to call it. Hello Jesse. You're pretty fast. Well, I did a couple of battles, so it wasn't actually that quick. Let's go down here. What we got down here? A Clefairy for a start, so that's good. I wasn't trying to talk to you, Bill Sprout. Evie's telling me there's an item here. Somewhere. There you go. A big mushroom. I'll take that. Probably come from a Paris. Right then. Let's get this Clefairy. Hello Clefairy. It's a tiny, oh, it's a tiny Clefairy. Oh, definitely Raspberry. And then Great Ball. I don't want to miss out on catching this. Excellent throw again. Oh, everything but Zubat's been an excellent throw. Yes, caught it first time. With a size bonus. That should be a good number of experience points. 232! For this stage in the game, that's massive! Oh, a couple of levels on Magikarp there. Fantastic. The Nidorans aren't far away from evolving. Brilliant. Magikarp's getting some levels. Brussels wants to learn Sleep Powder. We'll do that instead of Growth. I do like Sleep Powder as well. It comes in quite handy. Bulbasaur, level 12, that's great. Right then. New Pokedex data added for the fairy. Now I just need a Geodude. Ugh. If I remember rightly, there's a lot of Pokemon that appear in this little room here. Yeah. Well, there's a Geodude for a start. There's the Geodude I wanted so badly. Great throw, I'll take great. I'll take great, that's fine. Perfect. First throw again. Was that a size bonus as well? Yeah, so I got 80. That's alright. That's alright. The Nidorans are one level away each from evolving. One level each. You wanna move you wanna learn helping hand tonight? You want to learn Helping Hand? No. <laughs> Not doing that. It's a terrible move. And it only works in double battles, so why? No. Not doing that. This, if I remember rightly, should be Moonstone. Get in. And then we can have this. Oh. Huh? I wasn't talking to Bells, but I was trying to get the item. There we go. Rare candy. Nice. I'll use that on someone eventually. Right, now I'm going to start chain catching these Geodudes. Try and get some experience for Magic Girl. Right. It's hovering around, so it's quite difficult to get it right in the middle. Caught it, bud. Caught a Geodude, thank you very much. And also, if you chain catch, more interesting Pokemon appear. So, that should be fun. Right, loads of parrots around. I should have chain caught them, shouldn't I? Never mind. We've started now, so we'll finish. <laughs> Come on, Bell Sprout. Another Clefairy. Do 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 do. Mario Maker two. So I was looking at the games I've got. Geodude. Cool. Catch. Try and get some more in the, uh, in the combo. But I am going to switch to Pokeballs because I don't want to keep using Great Balls for it. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting close, but not close enough. Never mind. Usually, if I don't get them on the first throw in a chain, you just run away, because I've only caught one so far. No, two, isn't it? So this is the third. I'll run away after this. Oh, it doesn't matter, I caught it anyway. I'm going to do a shiny catching... <coughs> shiny hunting video, I should say. With lots of tips, one of them being, if you don't catch them on the first go, just run. Because then your chain doesn't get broken and you can still carry them, so I'll start doing that now. Chain of three, so that's not bad, not bad. Just gonna catch Geo Dudes. I mean 
that there was a delay in the throne there. You saw that move. You saw that move. Oh, call it anyway. Who cares? I'd like to get an excellent throw though. That'd be good. Just so get some extra experience points. Because at the moment, I'm only getting minimal amounts. But it's it's experience. This is how you train. So it's a good way of doing it. Either way, let's crack on. Oh, another Geo dude. This is what this episode's turned out to be. Right. Excellent throw. Thank you very much. And we're going to catch it though. Yes. Cool. No size bonus on this one. This is going to be. Yeah, 58. Magic Ops gone up a level. Right. Nidorans are close to evolving. Right, for this episode, let's get to a catch combo of 11 for Geodude. Evolve the Nidorans. Oh, Jesus. Almost ran into two Zubats in. Yeah, let's get the catch combo um, for the Geodudes up to 11 so that a rare Pokemon can appear and try and catch that. Even his tail just went there for something. I don't know. Go away, Zubats. They're really unpredictable on their movement. Zubats. Right, I'm going to use a Raspberry now. That's high level, level 7. Right. Excellent throw. Again. Go on, catch. Yes. Is that a size bonus one as well? I keep forgetting, don't I? I should remember. Yeah, 124 experience points. Lovely, I'll take that. God, so close to levelling up some of these guys. Right. Check everything's still recording well. Yep, lovely. Do that, go away. Right, so. Yep, good. We're battling now. Super Nerd Joven. Joven? Joven? Either way, who cares? You've got a grind. Oh, Eevee, headbutt. Oosh, nut him. Yes, flinch. Poison gas, avoid the attack. Easy then, quick attack and I've won. There you go, easy battle. You guys just don't know. It's Daisy, I've just got no idea. I'm really sorry to hear that. 400 Poke Yen and three more Pokeballs. Oh, there's a Moth in here. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get off my face. I don't know if I'm talking to the Zubats or the Moths. Go on, Zubat everywhere! Go away! Right. Battle you now. Let's get our catch combo to 11. Try and get some good Pokemon to appear. Youngster Robbie. Hello, Robbie. You sent out a main did you? Fighting type against my normal type. Could be dangerous. However, I'm quicker and I'm going to use Headbutt and hopefully knock you out in one. Oh, what can I say? Eevee is just unstoppable. Well, I reckon the level 100 Mewtwo would probably stop it. But anyway, Eevee's very strong. My Eevee. Let's get this item and then get away from the other Zubat. They're going to be everywhere, these Zubat. Oh, no, wrong way. <laughs> right, get this item. Want to repel. <laughs> Should use that for the Zubats, but I want Geodude, so I'm not going to. Hi, Paris. Right, what's this? Bag of Stardust. Nice. Eevee's tail wags when there's a hidden item nearby. Wait, hey, don't look away from me. I want to battle you. Then I want to get on and get some of these Geodudes. Or Geodude, sorry. Plural of Pokemon doesn't include the S. Last Miriam. Up a level to level 17. Good girl. You wanna learn oh, you wanna learn bite? Yes, please. Get rid of sand attack. I have a dark type move. Yes, please. You wanna learn poison powder? 
not that bothered about poison powder. Sleep powder's fine. Right then. Let's crack on with the... Today. Oh, that's a Geodude though. So we'll go grab that. With a size bonus. I found from experience that size bonuses are actually more difficult to attach. That's a level 9. Ooh. Okay. We will go Great Ball for this one actually. that there, so if I do this now. Oh! Delay? Delay much? I would have actually got a good throw then if that didn't... Oh, never mind. Not going to get a bonus for the, the style bonus or the whatever it is, technique bonus. Or, well, excellent bonus or whatever. 81. Alright, that's fine. At least the two Nidorans are now evolving. At least that's happening. Well, it will be in a second. to learn a move. Go away. No, look, just, I don't care what moves you have. I'm not using you anyway. Need a run is evolving. Go on. Need a Reno. <laughs> Are you going to try and learn a move now as well? Registered to the Pokedex. Thank you very much. Neither and female is now evolving. And I've got two Moonstones, so what shall I do after this? Nidorina. Nidorina. Yeah, lovely. They evolve into some cool Pokemon. Catch combo of seven for the Geodudes, that's fine. Right. Power up pocket. Okay, I've only got one Moonstone so far, haven't I? Right, well, Nidorino can evolve, just because you're first there. Go on. Nido King. I've got a powerful Pokemon already. A fully stage, third stage evolution. Final stage, third stage evolution, that's what I should say, sorry. Fully evolved, final stage, third stage evolution. Oh, you're gonna learn a move as well. Thrash, yeah, why not? I'm not gonna use you, but just in case I need to, uh, we'll get rid of Poison Sting, because that's absolutely pointless and boring. Pointless and boring. Sounds like a definition for my life. Anyway. Let's crack on with the whatever we're doing now. Cool. Right. That's that done. Now let's run on. No more Geodudes, please. We've got stuff to do. Oh, hi, James. Quit following us. Don't want to. Just don't want to. Let's go down the stairs. What we got down here? Let's go down these stairs. Oh, what we got down here? Oh wow, a couple of Geodudes. I'll take that. Level 6. I've still got my Great Ball. Oh, never mind. Stop delaying when I throw! I throw and then like a split second later it's throwing the ball and it's really getting annoying now. Never mind. I caught a Geodude. 36 experience points. Would have been more if you threw on time. Never mind. Catch combo of 8. Right. Well, Evie was wagging its tail here, so what's it going to be? Another Moonstone! You know what that means now, don't you? I'm going to go to the power up pocket and evolve Nidorina. But possibly one of the better Pokemon of Gen 1, Nido Queen. I always preferred Nido Queen to Nido King because Nido Queen always used to learn Body Slam at level 23 on red and blue. Whereas Nido King learned Thrash. And I wasn't that bothered by Thrash because you ended up being confused at the end of it, so... Body Slam was always the one I preferred. Oh, there you go, it's learning Body Slam now. Forget an old move, definitely, because I love Body Slam. And you can also forget Poison Sting, actually. Even though they're strong, I'm now going to switch them out for someone else that needs experience points to evolve. Let's switch you out 
for someone else completely. Uh, Pidgey, let's get you out. Uh, Spearow or Rattata? Rass let's go Rattata. Rattata. There we go. Right. Back to catching this Geodude. These are all high level Pokemon actually. Now, a bit of a delay there, but it still worked fine. Go on, catch. Yes! This will make it number 9, I think, won't it? 9 in the chain? 119 experience points. That's more like it. That's what we want to get. That's what we want to see. Get that magic up to level 20. It's going to take a while, but we'll get there. Might do some chain catching offline at the end of this. Right, let's get that Geodude. And then we're going to get the item and crack on. So this makes it number 10 in the chain. Now, that was a massive delay then. See, the thing is, if I do it slightly earlier, it will throw it slightly earlier and I won't get the excellent bonus. Never mind. 47 that's going to have to do, isn't it? Right. Good, learn to move, that's really fantastic. Right then, moving on. Number 10, right, next one I catch will basically, oh, okay. If they ever get out the way so I can get the bloody item. Right, let's throw this earlier. Now, it threw it almost on time pretty much then. I don't get understand. Anyway. Yes, we're now on 11. Special Pokemon will be appearing. I know the two they are. One of them, well, they're both going to be a pain to catch. But let's hope they appear. Catch a combo of 11 with air. Right, zoom out of the way, get this item. No, not you, Bell Sprout. I'm trying to get the item. Get out of the way. You've got lots of energy. That's great. Move out of the way. I've just heard one of the special Pokemon. There it is. This will be a pain to catch. Absolute pain. But we can try. We can try. We can only try. There. Excellent throw. Good. Yes! Chansey gives you lots of experience. Oh, this is going to be a big one. 788! Wow! That's basically everyone levelling up. Yeah. Oh my word. What a way to end this episode, I think. <laughs> right. Well, let's just see what everyone learns first. EV level 19, after all that. Brussels level 18, after all that. Wants to learn Stun Spore. Pointless, don't get. Don't really like Paralysis. Magikarp level 11, then 12. Pidgey, 13, then 14. Rattata, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jesus. That went up four levels. And learn focus energy. Um, Bulbasaur up to level 16. What does that mean, guys? What does that mean? Evolution. Wow. Wait for it. Look at that. I do like Ivysaur, I love that rosebud on it, it's so awesome. It's, I just love that, I really do. Oh, great! Right then. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really enjoying Ivysaur. Okay, so, registering Chansey to the Pokedex. So, in this episode we've caught Geodude, Clefairy, Zubat, Paras, We've evolved Nidoran male into Nidorino and Nidoran female into Nidorina, then evolved those into Nido King and Nido Queen, caught a Chansey, and evolved Bulbasaur into Ivysaur. That's 10. We've just registered 10 Pokemon in the Pokedex in this episode. I'm very happy with that. So we should have 15 in this Pokedex now, if I haven't forgot anyone. Oh, we've got Magikarp as well. Oh, we've got Magikarp. Oh, and Ekans. 12 Pokemon in this episode. Absolutely brilliant. Well, we'll leave it there for now. We'll carry on Mount Moon on the next episode. Save my progress. 
So yeah, thank you for watching this episode. Until the next time, I shall see you guys later. Bye bye.